Shalom, shalom. First of all, I want to get out on and glory. So yeah, how up by Hashem, yeah, how shy by Hashem, Bakak with us. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone rule web, and a great example to his younger brothers in the truth. Peace and blessing to the hopeful elect. Lord willing, this edifying. And this just a quick little response to this. Um, IUIC is dry dissing the apostles of GMS. And, um, you know, brothers did the, you know, did the lesson. I just want to go in on one little particular point. It ain't going to be long. You know, just going into false prophets, man. And into these wicked pastors who are destroying and scattering the flock of the Lord. And I call them false pastors. Why? Because they don't teach the name, which he once taught the name in, in his congregation is <laughs> going, doing the same thing. And another thing, they're not warning you of the, of, the, of the dangers of the times that are coming. You know, they they not letting you know about the MOTB. They're not warning you of the things the Lord forbid <laughs> you to take. They telling you it's sin, it's, you know, white Christians, this, is that, everything, but anything to do with buying and selling, or they tell you it's an embargo. Like Esau going around putting embargoes on, on niggas down the street, man. You know, on Joe Sixpack, you know, on goddamn Tremonte, you know. Esau ain't putting on embargoes, you know, Jake. You know, just bullshit. But I'm going to play it and, and get it and, you know, go straight into it. It ain't going to be nothing long. The title is Bishop Nathaniel Dry Disses GMS. Now, I'm going to let him speak and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to quote some scriptures. I'm not going to necessarily go to the scriptures. I, I'm, I may go to the scriptures, too. But this is how this is this is this is how he 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 he's coming in a deceptive manner. I want you to listen, 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 listen. Thirteen and verse nine. For we know in part, we know in part, and we. And this is how you know he a false prophet. Look at the picture. <laughs> the Lord say they that be in king's houses, was soft raiment, you know, like beautiful garments, soft raiment. When he was talking to the disciples, and he asked, what went ye out to see? You know, a man in soft raiment, basically looking all royal and kingly and, you know. Or, you know, he was basically asking because uh, John the Baptist, you know, he had on a rough garment, camel's hair. You know, he looked like a wild man almost. And they was like, you know, who is that? Such and such. And the Lord was like, what y'all want out to see? A man in soft framing? <laughs> you know? But I'm going to keep going. Because that's how you see they in that soft framing, you know? These majestic, you know, ass garments, gold and purple, big ass army vest, <laughs> like he finna go to war. All he need the chains on his arm and a sword and a shield and a helmet. He ready. <laughs> Let me stop playing. Let's play the video. Prophesy in part. And we prophesy in part. Right? But when that which is perfect is come, that's Christ, then that which is in part shall be done away. He's going to teach us everything. Be mindful of brothers today that say they have 100% truth. And that hundred percent truth that we have is uh, uh, pertaining to the scriptures and pertaining to salvation. Man, that's the hundred percent truth. Part of the hundred percent truth is knowing the prophecies, and part of the hundred percent truth is knowing the names of the Lord. Part of the hundred percent truth is you know, uh, 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 we are the Israelites. You know, that's part of it. Not. <laughs> How much a, a flame way? Uh, uh, what do the wind, the the circuits of the wind? That's not part of the hundred percent truth, man. That's 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 what the Lord is gonna teach us when He come back. We are gonna be made perfect. We are gonna know how 
the uh, 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 baby forms inside of the womb. We're going to know a lot of different things that Esau don't even know. Esau know a lot of things that, that the angel was asking Exodus. <laughs> you know, Esau know, know a lot of them things. Esau then acquired a diligent search, and he, <clears throat> the Lord gave him the technology to lock you to get on that level, to be able to search these things out. But he got bounds that he cannot pass. But the Lord is going to open us up on a whole nother level, man. You know. Everything. You better head for the hills. You hear people talk like that. Run. They know everything. You better head for the hills. You hear people done away. He's going to teach us everything. Be mindful of brothers today that say they have 100% truth. They know everything. And that's the point. He said, be mindful of brothers today who say they know everything, who say they have 100% truth. You know, basically, he's scattering the flock. Then that's what I'm going to go into. Because that's what he's doing. He's scattering the flock. You know? <laughs> uh, that's what he's trying to do. Because, you know, those that are the Lord are not lost. You know? And like the scriptures say, they be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead of the blind, they both shall fall into a ditch. Everything. You better head for the hills. You hear people talk like that. Run. That's why the angel asked Ezra, oh, you know, you think you know something. What's the weight of a flame? <laughs> you don't know nothing. Shut the hell up. Where's the origin of wind? Where does it come from? I don't know. Where's when did we ever say we know everything about everything? <laughs> <laughs> but that's pretty much the point Apostle to heart. You know, he, he he explained it perfectly. I just want to, you know, speak on it as well. <laughs> Apostle Todd say he know the way to flame, he got one in his hand. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Uh, the apostles funny as hell, man. When you sit back and just listen to them. It ain't, you know, we don't do this thing for, uh, you know, to make people laugh or nothing like that. But brothers just be funny as hell. Unpurposely, goddamn. <laughs> but you can go watch the video. Ed Fine video. And he is sneak this, you know, because no other count in, in Israel claimed to have 100% truth. You know? <laughs> But he going off and he causing, you know, those who know that they're Israelites to not follow the 100% truth of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. We don't have the 100% truth for the operations of the earth. We have the 100% truth of the doctrine of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. We have the gospel, the good news, the new song. That's what we have 100% of. You know, the tunes and the you know, the, the high notes, we have all those things down packed, man. You know, how the drum's supposed to beat, or the, 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 uh, uh, what's the majestic uh, instrument? Damn. David always played. Damn, what that motherfucker name is. It's like, uh, not the violin, it's a, <laughs> shit, I can't even think of it. It ain't a flute. It ain't a violin. It ain't a fucking piano. Y'all know what I'm talking about. God damn, why I can't think of it? He played it to cast the demons out of um, uh, Saul. He always played it. That's one of the instruments he always played. I want to say it start with H, but I can't think of it right now. If it comes to me, I I say it. But let's get these precepts. This um Jeremiah chapter twenty three and verse one it reads, "Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter my the sheep of my pasture," said of Yahweh. Therefore, thus said of the Lord Yahweh, power of Israel. Thus said of Yahweh power of Israel against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away, and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evils of your doings, said of the Lord. And we know it's talking about the, you know, Christianity, these plantation Christians and, and those who teaching all these false doctrines, but mainly to these Israelites who know that they are Israelites, who know 
you know, the scriptures, not like a Christian know the scriptures, but know the scriptures like you post to know the scriptures, man. But they twisting it and, you know, bringing in confusion because they probably took a bag or whatever, what have you. Because that's what happened to a lot of these guys. They didn't, they didn't got paid off, man. You know, Esau, <laughs> that's how Esau deceives with confusion, man. Esau works well up under the guise of having everybody fucking confused as hell. And that's what a lot of these camps, you know, do. They they throw a little uh, falsehood within the truth, man. All behind teach, some may use the name, some may stop using the name, some may say the MOTB is the the um <laughs> CHIP and so a lot gonna say it ain't you know and people gonna you know they the Esau pay them to twist things up to keep people confused and not uh out going after the hundred percent truth you know to water it down basically you know slow it down but you can't slow this down it's workers of the Lord You know, it's a, and verse three, it say, and I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries, whither I have driven them, and I will bring them again to their folds, and they shall be fruitful and increase, and I will set up shepherds over them, which shall feed them with with and shall feed them and they shall fear no more nor be dismayed neither shall they be lacking said of Yahweh you know and and that's what's ultimately coming behold the days come said of the Lord Yahweh that I will raise up unto David a righteous branch and a king shall reign and prosper and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth, and it's going to tell you how we You know, and the Lord said, matter of fact, let's get that. Let's This Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 15, it reads, And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And that's what the apostles and elders of GMS were set up to do, to feed us with knowledge and understanding. You know? No people say whatever they want to say. People can say whatever they want to say. You can't say that those men are not sincere in what they're doing. They've been doing this thing for what? 30 plus years, starting with Apostle Ed Taha on down, you know, Apostle Taha 30 some years, on down to the Apostle Gabor, Apostle um, Raka, Apostle Ramlab, and the bishops up underneath them who've been doing this thing for 30, you know, plus years, 20 plus years, you know, consistently on the highways and hedges, teaching and preaching the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know. Without wavering, constantly, you know, <laughs> not missing the beat. They've been doing this before I was born, man. <laughs> if not before I was born, as long as I've been on the earth, man. You know, literally, that ain't even no exaggeration. It's literally, you know, but <clears throat> they not doing it for money. They not doing it for 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 fame. And glitz and glamour. They just teaching the word. You know. They don't want to be praised to men. None of that. But these other camps. On the other hand. They don't even shun it. You can't you, you can't run up to the apostles. And, 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 and go to. You know. Doing all. Getting all extra. <laughs> like they special. They going to rebuke the fuck at you man. You know. So how sincere is that. You know, 
But you go do it to one of these other men who come out of the one west and got these other camps. They not going to rebuke their followers for that. They not going to push their followers to study, to read, to research it for themselves. You know, or what, what they saying. They not going to teach their followers that it's what they say go. Not go look it up. Oh, I, not I said this. Go look it up for yourself. It's I said this and this what it is. Or you, you know, uh, uh, window shopping these other counts. You know, say some crazy shit. But the Lord got some for these people, man. And those uh, uh, who are up underneath these wicked pastors, <laughs> hey, if you don't come up out of that, the Lord just going to destroy you, man. You a part of that blind that's being led by the blind, man. But those that come out of it, you know, repent and turn back to your how about shim how shine, truth and sincerity. Hey, you a part of the elite, ultimately. You know? Because the true pastors who the Lord set up that's feeding us with knowledge, wisdom, and understand with knowledge and understanding is the pot starting with the apostles on down, man. You know? And it, you know, started with Abba on down, you know, but and, and that's um uh, Abba Beavers on down. But it it was passed down to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. They continued pushing it, you know, and it grew. And, and more wisdom and, and understanding of your how about showing how a shot came out to its full perfection now, man, over the years. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 12 and verse. Um. 30 it reads he that is not with me is against me and he that it, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad and that's what bishop nathaniel doing general yohanna these different men that's what they doing they not with the lord man they telling you the motb is this or that they not with the lord they telling you the, the name of the lord don't matter they not with the lord Men who teach in false doctrine, they not with the Lord. So they, guess what? They scattering abroad, you know, leaving the people confused, feeding them with, with BS, you know, GMO doctrine. <clears throat> but ours is organic. The doctrine of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh that we feed the people with, starting with the apostles and others on down as younger brother, is organic. And the doctrines of the rest of these people are ge genetically modified, man, by Esau Edom. <laughs> so like it. Let's keep going. This is the book of Luke, chapter 9 and verse 49. It reads, And John answered and said, Master, we saw one casting out devils in thy name, and we forbade him, because he followeth not, he followeth not with us. And Yahweh said unto him, Forbid him, forbid him not, for he that is not against me, for he that is not against us is for us. You know, because you gonna have men who probably like we always say, that and that go to show you that it ain't about one count. <laughs> you know? Hey, if the Lord put a, the spirit on a person to, you know, learn, hear the word, learn. And go out and teach, and the Holy Spirit guide the man into learning. And you know he, you know, may have watched the apostles and got the breakdowns. And he go out and teach by himself and never become a part of GMS, as you got in the earth. <laughs> men just teaching a hundred percent truth. You know, maybe we we may not even know them, but it's plenty. It's a lot of men out who teaching man, who we may not even know. You know, that ain't a part of GMS but teaching the, 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 the right doctrine. You know, don't forbid, forbid them because they are, you know, they, they are with us, so to speak. You know? So that go to show you that you don't have to be a part of one particular camp. You just got to have 100% truth, man, and teach in truth and sincerity. And the Lord is going to come back and deliver his elect, man. And that's pretty much the point on it, you know. Going into the, you know, different men who who may have this truth and not be particularly a part or 
or GMS. You know, they, they'll be teaching the truth. But IUIC not one of them. You know, they going off and they leaders are wicked. ICPK and likewise others, man. Not teaching you the name, not warning you of the MOTB for the come. And Lord's going to destroy these men, man. You know, and the blood is going to be upon their own hands. You know. I it, <laughs> It's so much blood on certain men's hands, it, it ain't no coming back from if you ask me. I'm not the Lord, so I can't, you know, say who are these lick, who not are these lick. Hell, I might not be of these lick. But, <laughs> I, through the spirit and power, you have about him, you have a sign out of myself. I, I don't teach to persuade nobody, confuse nobody, or get nobody to follow me. You know, <laughs> you follow your how about him, you have a shot. You know, and that's the same with the apostles and elders. We not, you know, do the, I don't, from the elders on down to his younger brother, we not teaching to deceive. We not teaching to confuse. You know, we want you to get it. And if you can't get it, it may not be for you, man. You know? <laughs> This Matthew chapter 7 and verse 5, it, uh, verse 15, it reads, Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. You know, and that's what these men are, you know. Uh, Bishop Nate inwardly is a ravening wolf. People might, I watched a little of that video, and, and just check out how he handled the men. But check out how they, you know, the, the things they do, you know. And I'd have met people in the world, <laughs> you know, who's a part of where well, I don't know. I don't think I met nobody who was actually in IUIC, but I met people who knew people that was in IUIC and said how they was wicked, man. You know, here in Mobile, said they were wicked. They were doing wicked stuff, and, and they it, it caused men to fall completely out the truth and not even want to be a part of Israel. Ultimately, the Lord ain't dealing with you if you, you lead the truth all together just because a motherfucker do a wicked act towards you, you you give up on your how about him, your how was shy. You wasn't right in the beginning, but at the end of the day, they go to show you that, hey man, these guys are off. Verse 16, it says, Ye shall know them by their fruit. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but the corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. And that's what you have with these different false these false teachers man they fruit be corrupt they fruit be evil you know <laughs> you know but you know lord willing this will edify hey man beware of these men you know because he's telling you beware of men who say they have 100 percent truth run but shit if you got somebody proclaiming that they have 100 percent truth you shouldn't run you should look into it you should listen to what they saying and go look it up your goddamn self. Be like the church of Berea, man. Don't. Oh, he said he got the 100% truth. Ah! And take out running. You fucking idiot. <laughs> if I tell you, hey, I know what can save your life. It, it, it's guaranteed to work. You know? All you got to do is trust in your how about shit. You have a shot. That's the name you call upon. Don't take this MOTB. You know? And, 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 and go teach this word in truth and sincerity, not for filthy lucre, not for, you know, uh, 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 fame and notoriety, not for any vain thing or, or carnal thing. You're going to take out run the other. Come on, man. <laughs> These people, I mean, Jake just fucking, Jake through, man. You know, and being charismatic ain't going to get you into the kingdom. Lord going to destroy you niggas, man. But that's pretty much the point, Lord, and this is edifying. I want to end it, giving all honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders, great millstone. Rule have been great example to the young brothers and the truth, peace, bless to the hopefully, Lord, and this is edifying. Beware of these men. Shalom, Kwam Yashallah, Baba, Shalom.